Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So where we left off was we got the drivers pressed onto the uh, original John Deere drive shaft for this 82 trail fire. And these drivers are meant for this new modern 2.52 pitch uh, rubber track. And so the next step here is we're going to um, see if we can replace these bearings for the jack shaft. Um, so it looks like there is a couple of nuts here on the other side. I'll get those off and then um, On the other side here, I'll have to take this bolt off and then uh, see what's behind there. Looks like, yeah, it looks like there's a cage or a, a bearing in this flange here. So we'll get, get this off, get these three nuts off and we'll go from there. All right, got the bearing out. So basically, got this bolt off, you can get the gear off. And then there's this locking plate here. Get the three nuts off. And then uh, I just took a rubber hammer and pounded the jack shaft out that way and the bearing came off. And then there's this rubber O-ring that uh, goes behind the bearing, you know, like this, so that the gear oil doesn't get on the the brake, that uh, rubber o-ring goes right here. Um, so I got the shaft pretty much out. So let's go just pull it out the rest of the way here. And Looks like, looks like there's a piece missing out of that bearing. You can see it's cracked right there. You might have to press this out. Um, all right, I'll put the camera down here and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so I got the, the flange off right there and looks like I'm gonna have to press this off so first I measured though from here to this, this edge of the bearing and it's 2.75. So I want to get this new bearing on, you know, at the same position. So, all right, let's get this pressed off. All right, guys, I was able to uh, get this old bearing off. I just used a, a hammer and it came off, you know, fairly easy, but, um, Looking at this closer, you can see, you know, this inner race is cracked here. And you can see right here, that's where part of it is. And this is just a locking collar, because um, this is like a eccentric here. Um, but digging through my stash, I came across this bearing which has these two set screws. Um, it's the same size bearing, but I think I like this idea better. Just take this piece off of here and just use this. That way there's no chance of this bearing spinning on the shaft here. So I think I'm gonna go that route. Um, I think that's the best option. So let me take, take another look at this. All right, got that locking collar off. The set screw is all messed up. So I just used the, the trusty Harbor Freight press and pressed it off of there. Doesn't really matter if it gouged up this shaft or not. All right. 
All right, bearing is on. Two set screws are cranked down. And then we got the proper distance from the end of the shaft to the bearing. So now we will just get this back in its home. And I gotta go on the other side there and get it through the through the brake. Okay, so I figured while I'm in here, I might as well take a look at the brake pads. So there's just two bolts that hold on the assembly here. And this one here goes on the inside like that. And then this one without the backing goes like this in here. So I just wanted to see what they look like because I'm going to order some new pads. I'm not sure how, I mean, there's plenty left here, but I'm not sure what we started with. I'm sure these are the originals, so I'm just going to go ahead and order some new ones. But it just looks fairly easy. You know, after I get this all back together, I can just take it up, these two bolts out and put new pads in there. So I just wanted to quick show you that. All right. Jack shaft is all good to go. Both bearings installed and all set. Uh, so up next, we're gonna actually, we can start reassembling this thing. Um, put new, add new bearings for the drive shaft here. And um, yeah, so it's getting there. Another, I don't know, couple hours. But I'm gonna call it for tonight. The goal was to get this jack shaft taken care of. And now we can officially start putting it all back together. So thanks for watching.